Hey fams, welcome to my YouTube channel. So while making this video, I never knew I went too close to the MRI machine and most of the recording I did with the mic got stopped due to the magnetic interference. So during the course of this video, most of the part I'm going to be doing voiceovers. Okay guys, let me show you what a GE 1.5 Tesla MRI looks like and um, all the accessories attached to it. So you come with me. So firstly, because it's a very big MRI machine and um, it uses helium, the magnetism of it is very, very high. So it comes with this wheelchair. You can see that it's a metal, but they made it in such a way that they use a very low ferrous metal for it. So it doesn't get sucked in, into it. No matter how close I bring it, nothing will happen with it. Unlike other metals. Here we have So here we have the automatic injector and it can be connected to the patient when the patient is inside the MRI machine. The cannula on the line on the person's arm. And then we can introduce contrast into the... So we don't need to come in and come and inject anything into the person's body. From outside there, we just press the button and it will start going into the person's body immediately. This one is headphones. You understand? Very cool place. If you want to listen to all your music, just... <laughs> the machine makes a lot of noise. You can hear it making one noise now. This noise is making now like using the background. Yes, so when once we even start, the core is, uh, um, and some other things inside makes a very high um, sound and it's very, very deaf into the ears. So we use this to just protect the ears. If, we are use, if you're using any of the cores that will prevent us from using this, we use the smaller one. They all do the same thing. It's more like a stethoscope. Then here, respiratory ghetto is used to monitor the breathing. So if you want to do any examination of the thorax and abdomen, we'll place this around the abdomen or thoracic region so that it will monitor your breathing and then it will take the images at the interval when you're not breathing. So that's what we use this one for. This one. So this here is called pulse gating. Like this. Just place it on the person's finger like this. We use it also to take, check your pulse so the machines can take images in between when there's no positive activities. We use it when we want to do some kind of like um, um, CSF flow, lower, and, lower limb angiography, upper limb angiography, and some other vascular examinations like that. These are ECG plugs. We use it for cardiac examinations. On the chest. Like this, and we do the cardiac examination. That's everything here. All the These are MRI phantoms of varying sizes. We use it to warm or carry out examinations. Okay. We use all these phantoms here, like this. Also, this is just for comfortability for the patients. We use this one to elevate the legs for um, lumbosacral, thoracic examinations to reduce the lordosis of the spine. Then the room can get very cold at times, so we we'll cover the person with this. Then here we have an anterior array coil. Have an anterior array coil can place it for femur, any long structures in the body, abdomen, thorax, arm, 
this is what we use. This is the coil we use. Though the machine comes with its own coil. It has an inbuilt coil. So if you check around here, you see one, two, three, four. So this markings here is actually the region of the inbuilt coil of the machine. If you place the patient in between those markings, we don't really need to use this anterior area coil. So the coil alone there will be enough to cover for the patient. Then here we have flex coils, different lengths, different length of flex coils. We use it for joints, shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrists, knee, ankle. Those are what we use it for. So there are about three different three different types we have here. These are earplugs. So for each patient that comes in, we give them new earplugs, just like that one I showed you there. So we switch it every time for every patient. This is a cervical horse shoe coil. We use it for the whole lumbar vertebrae, cervical vertebrae and thoracic vertebrae. It's not the spinal col and spinal uh, column as a whole. This is what we use to just check everything there. Then these are our brain and soft tissue coil. We use it for the brain, use it for neck to cross check anything there. If we want to attach this one, we'll take this one off like this, and then we'll put this one in and clip it. That's how we attach it. See, all these ones are foam pads just to help us to put the patient in a very comfortable position. Then down here, it's one of our last coil. This one is for breast dynamic. So we use this one for breast. Then these ones are stands. This one is a stand also to help hold all these coils together. So if you if you have breast issues or you know anyone that has breast issues, MRI is one of the best imaging modalities. To so MRI is it. one of the best modality in radiology department right now that you can use to cross check for any breast mass or any kind of breast issues. Just that it's a little bit lengthy and um, it's costly. So that's it guys. You can see these are metals. These are metals also but they are not being sucked in into the magnetic core. <laughs> not as what you've been thinking all this while. Huh? So it has its own level of ferocity and all. So, like I said, it all depends on the ferocity of the metal. Like you can see now, this is a very ferrous metal, this key here. You can see it. So we're going to take it to the MRI machine. Now you see what it's going to do. So let me just keep it here like this. So you can see from here. So I'm going close to the MRI machine. So immediately I got close to the MRI machine, the mic stopped working because of the magnets from the gantry. I was already pulling my hand. You can see me exerting force to pull it, to drag the key out. So it was already dragging my hand inside. I had to apply a lot of force to be able to like drag it out. It's funny. This MRI machine is actually very, very harmful. For, yeah, for the fact that I said all these metals are not ferrous, it doesn't mean you should come in with your phone. If you take your phone too close, you might even wipe your phone off. If you, if you take the camera too close, you, you see that the camera will start getting blur. That's what will happen to it. So, we can elevate this. Keep this. 1.5 Tesla MRI couch can actually be elevated. And it actually has a weight limit of around um, 160 kg. So if the patient is up to that weight, it won't go up. Don't, don't pick it up. The weight limit is there. You have to lose weight. <laughs> if you don't lose weight, then you have to, we have to use the open gantry. That has a... It has a higher weight limit of around um, 230 kg. And as you can see, it's open so patients that are claustrophobic will feel more comfortable 
in the 0 0.35 compared to this 1.5 that is very 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 tight so what we experienced at the end of the day is that most patients don't really cooperate while carrying out examinations in this um, 1.5 because they are claustrophobic so at the end of the day we just have to use the 0 0.35 to carry out the examination so at this point i was just just in my um lovely colleague here about a case that a scenario that happened the other day while we were carrying out an examination so about two couples uh she was actually medical personnel but when we wanted to carry out the examination she was really really scared and we couldn't we tried 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 until the husband came in i was like okay he's going to stay in with her throughout the ex entire examination and it was a very very lovely sight to see he stood by her side and he prayed throughout the examinations standing by her so it was very very nice seeing that like uh or like oh this love thing is actually real funny how we've also had cases where patients actually jump out of the mri machine and we just have to like help like Lips contain the whole issue yeah. so that's it thank yeah yeah sorry <laughs> So, so please subscribe, drop a comment on what you want me to talk next, share this video with friends, family, and colleagues. And also click on the um, notify button so that you get more updates from me anytime I make any post here. Uh, thank you guys.